Two electric fans, a blower, and an extractor continuously circulate cooling air around the avionics equipment. And the extractor fan sucks hot air away from the equipment. The AEVC also controls operation of the intake and outlet valve. Let us have a look at what happens when the fans go kaput. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Captain SQ where we're going to discuss on Airbus systems, emergency procedures and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. A320 ventilation system made easy, solving confusion one slide at a time. Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals, this video is merely a guide. Before we start, do destroy the like button, it will help a lot in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for latest updates and press the notification bell to get call up for flight. Okay, with that said, let's dive in. The A320 ventilation system includes the avionics, batteries, lavatories, galley and cargo. Let us look into avionics ventilation. First of all, what is avionics? According to Google search, avionics are electronic equipment fitted in an aircraft. A fully automatic ventilation system cools the avionics on the flight deck like the circuit breakers, all the instruments in the cockpit and the avionic compartment. The system is controlled by an avionics equipment ventilation controller or AEVC for short. Two electric fans, a blower and an extractor continuously circulate cooling air around the avionics equipment and the extractor fan sucks hot air away from the equipment. The AEVC also controls operation of the intake and outlet valve. Let us have a look at what happens when the fans go kaput. Blower fault. Both the blower and extractor fans are normally controlled by the AEVC computer. If the system detects that blowing pressure is low or duct temperature is overheating, the following fault light on the blower switch will go on and an ECAM warning is triggered. Fault is also triggered if the AEVC fails. When the blower switch is set to override, the blower fan stops and air from the air conditioning system is blown into the system. This will indicate on the system page. Okay, now extractor fault. If the system detects that ventilation pressure is low, the fault light on the extract switch will go on and an ECAM warning is triggered. Fault is also triggered if the AEVC fails. By selecting the extract switch to override, the ventilation fan runs directly from the switch and the blower fan continues to run normally. The system goes into closed circuit configuration with air from the air conditioning system being blown into the system. This will indicate on the system page. Okay, let us have a look at open circuit which occurs mainly on the ground. Unless you have a giant hole on the aircraft, then your aircraft is really open. <laughs> To cool the avionics equipment in the avionics bay, outside air from an inlet valve is blown over the equipment and then extracted overboard through an outlet valve. Avionics in the cockpit are cooled by air being drawn through the equipment and blown overboard. The ECAM shows an open ventilation circuit. Okay, open circuit on the ground done. Let us have a look at closed circuit for ground avionics ventilation. If the temperature falls below 9 degrees, perhaps you are parked in a cold, cold airport, the system closes the inlet and extractor valves and circulates the air around a skin air heat exchanger before venting it under the cargo floor. The ECAM shows a closed ventilation circuit. Okay, done for closed circuit on the ground. Let us look at closed circuit now for in-flight avionics ventilation. In the air, the inlet valve closes and air is drawn in the cockpit avionics bay and the avionics equipment bay by the extractor fan. Air is circulated around the skin air heat exchanger or vented under the cargo floor. The air will eventually be discharged via the outflow valve of the pressurization system. The ECAM shows a closed ventilation circuit. Closed circuit in-flight done. 
Okay, now we look at intermediate circuit for in-flight avionics ventilation, somewhere in the middle between closed and open circuit. Reminder, what is AEVC? Avionics Equipment Ventilation Controller. Okay, if the AEVC senses the circulating air is getting too hot or too cold, above 80 degrees or below minus 50 degrees, it vents some of this air through a small flap in the outlet valve. The ECAM shows an intermediate ventilation circuit. Copy controls. The blower or extract fault lights goes on whenever a fault is detected when either button is pressed. The ventilation system goes into closed circuit configuration. I repeat, when either button is pressed, the ventilation system goes into closed circuit configuration. Air from the air conditioning system is introduced and recirculated around the heat exchanger. Okay, let us dive into ventilation in smoke configuration. When smoke is detected in the air extraction duct of the avionics ventilation system for more than 5 seconds, an ECAM master caution alerts the crew and the blower and extractor fault lights goes on. When the crew selects the blower and extract push button switches to override, air is stopped from recirculating around the skin air heat exchanger or from venting under the cargo floor. This stops the recirculation of contaminated air within the cabin or avionics compartment. Air from the air conditioning system is introduced into the avionics compartment and extracted directly overboard with the contaminated air. This ECAM shows the smoke ventilation circuit. Okay, so to recap, we covered open, close, intermediate, and smoke configurations for avionics ventilation. Let us have a look into battery ventilation. Air from around the batteries is drawn through a venturi and vented overboard. This stops nauseous gases emitted from the batteries from circulating in the AC systems. Simple. Next is galley and toilet ventilation. Odorous or funky air from the toilets and galley is not recirculated by the cabin fans. It is extracted from the area by an extraction fan and vented directly overboard at the outflow valve. It is automatic so we pilots do not have any control over it. Good luck if a malfunction occurs. Haha. <laughs> Okay, next is cargo ventilation. The cargo ventilation controller automatically controls the operation of both forward and aft cargo ventilation via valves and fans. Let us start with forward cargo ventilation. Air from the cabin goes into the forward cargo compartment via the inlet isolation valve. A skin mounted venturi discharges this air overboard via the outlet isolation valve. Air is continually extracted by an extraction fan or by differential pressure in flight. In flight, when pressure is more than 1 psi, the controller stops the fan and differential pressure maintains the ventilation. On the ground, the controller operates the fan continuously. Okay, final part, let us dive into aft cargo ventilation. Air from the cabin goes into the aft cargo compartment via an inlet valve. The air is then extracted through an extraction valve by a fan and removed through the outflow valve. When the isolation valve is fully open, the extraction fan operates continuously. Okay, what happens when there is cargo ventilation fault? If an isolation valve has failed, then a fault light appears in the isolation valve push button switch. When the flight crew selects the isolation valve push button switch to off, it closes all valves in the cargo hole and stops the fan. The valve closes and the fan stops automatically when smoke is detected. This isolation valve push button switch might be available in your aircraft, so do check it out. And there you have it, A320 ventilation system covered. Do subscribe and like this video. Thank you for those who support my channel and I will see you in the next video.